Hello and welcome to a new episode of Benelux Cloud Adventures. I'm Anastasia and I'm a solutions architect with AWS. And today I am joined by Marcin, who is the CTO of Open. Hi, Marcin. Hi, Anastasia. Uh, so I know that Open is a pioneer in uh, cloud-based banking software. Can you explain why you uh, started in the cloud and of course, why you also chose AWS as a partner? Of course, uh, Open, we are pioneers and also proud uh, uh, from being world's first uh, cloud native core banking uh, platform. Uh, there is a number of reasons why we uh, chose uh, cloud. Uh, the first one, probably like the obvious one today, uh, not when we uh, started, is the freedom and the flexibility of developing uh, software and bringing innovation uh, to our, our customers. The second one, probably less obvious, uh, as it's associated with, uh, with the cloud, is that we chose cloud for regulatory and compliance reasons. Uh, we saw that with cloud, we can uh, build our solution uh, in a much more secure way. And here, uh, the shared uh, security uh, responsibility model with AWS uh, help us a, a lot, as we could focus on building our application, while we could leverage and build on the experience that you have also in other industries. So, in short, flexibility, innovation, speed of innovation, uh, and the security that came uh, with uh, with AWS and the cloud uh, solution in general. That is very interesting, and uh, I think uh, both of the uh, all of the values that you mentioned are really uh, also core in uh, AWS values as well. Your business has grown a lot, uh, and uh, you have uh, evolved your architecture in the meantime. Can you share some of the um, uh, modernizations that you have implemented in your architecture the re uh, over the recent past years and uh, the value that uh, that has brought you? So we are continuously evolving our architecture. Uh, we are not a startup anymore. Uh, we've been established a company. We've been out there for uh, more than 10 years. And like in any technology companies, we had to undergo a lot of modernization. Uh, when it comes to our uh, technology uh, stack. And, and here, the most obvious example is that over time, we're uh, making more and more use of uh, AWS uh, managed services. And uh, to name a few examples, uh, security, that's an obvious one. Uh, we are using a lot of uh, services from AWS. Uh, but lately, we've seen that even uh, the application core components, like the database, here with uh, Aurora, uh, we're able to offer our solution in a much more scalable, in higher performance. So things that we would have to, like at first, do by ourselves, fine tune, tweak, you know, analyze whether we designed for the peak or average performance. Uh, with AWS, with Aurora, we could actually offload that problem uh, uh, to you. Um, that's one of the elements. Uh, but when it comes to redesign uh, the architecture uh, itself, uh, we started using more and more. Uh, serverless uh, uh, components. Um, uh, the main reason was that we are moving away from monolithic uh, architecture to more uh, containerized and, and serverless uh, components. Great. So you mentioned uh, serverless. Uh, so I want to like zoom in a little bit uh, on this. So I know that you're um, Taking advantage of our some of our you know solutions on serverless like AWS Lambda and AWS Step Functions, so can you um, describe or like explain a little bit more the value that you're getting out of it and also the value that you're passing on to your customers? Absolutely, absolutely. So um, as I mentioned, uh, we were evolving our architecture uh, for some time, and with serverless, we could take bits and pieces of that architecture and uh, and implement it as individual functions. Uh, but it brought us only, only so far. Uh, we saw that we had to go much more inside the, the application and talk about uh, the workflows. And, uh, and this is where uh, the step functions came in uh, very, very handy. So with the step functions, uh, we could manage uh, the process of decomposing the, the workflow. And visually, we could design, but also optimize it. So with that, we could bring uh, the improvements for the workflow 
uh, much faster. So what originally would take us months, we could do now uh, in weeks, maybe even sometimes days, um, to uh, like discussing with the customer, uh, designing and bringing this to, uh, to, uh, to, to the cloud. That is actually a, a very impressive acceleration uh, in your pace. So my final uh, question, the final topic that I want to touch upon is innovation. I know that you're doing a lot on that field. So I want to ask you to share some of the most recent innovations that you have implemented. And also to, if you can talk a little bit about the value that you bring to your customers through them. It's probably not a surprise when I say that we try to do much more with data, AI, and machine learning. Uh, so we use AWS services like SageMaker uh, to use machine learning, for example, to uh, uh, improve uh, so-called straight-through processing. Straight-through processing, uh, it's about automating uh, the process of um, managing uh, the workflow uh, to, for example, apply for a mortgage, a loan or open an account. So we use machine learning example uh, to scan documents, uh, documents uh, that are uh, country specific, language specific, right? So it's not generic algorithm. They have to be fine tuned to the information that we want to extract from this document and information that we use then to process such an uh, application. And we hope that as uh, soon we'll be able to completely animate, uh, eliminate uh, manual steps with the benefits that are very obvious to, to our customers as we can bring the whole process down uh, from what it used to be like, you know, weeks, days to even minutes um, and can be like fully uh, automatically done these days. That uh, is uh, definitely a very interesting use case. Uh, thank you for the discussion, Martin, and thank you for uh, watching the, this episode. If you want to learn more uh, about Open, there is another episode on Benelux Cloud Adventures where Martin is talking to my colleague Michael and he focuses a little bit more on the business side of things. See you next time. Thank you.